Hello, this is FCD. Whether you're sick of having to set up a camera account for a third person time lapse, or you want more creative options than a still camera, then the replay mod is the perfect mod for you. And the good news is it's available for the latest versions of Minecraft as well. But FCD, you already did a replay mod tutorial. Well, my friend, that tutorial is over three years old now and times they are a changing, especially for Minecraft 114. However, my old tutorial still works for 112 and under, so go ahead and click the link up in the corner to learn how to set that up. But if you must have those beautiful lanterns and some of the awesome looking villagers in your time lapses, then this tutorial is for you. First thing to know is that 1.14 replay mod no longer relies on Forge, but rather the new kid on the block, Fabric. There are three ways to install Fabric. You can use the vanilla launcher, multi-MC, or the Twitch launcher. I personally ended up using MultiMC myself, but for this tutorial, we're gonna go ahead and use the default vanilla launcher in order to limit the amount of software you'll have to install for this tutorial. All right, to install Fabric, first we need to go to the website in the description below. And when we get here, we click vanilla here, since we're doing it for vanilla. Obviously, for any of the other ways, you can do it this way. Then all you need to do is click this one here, download installer for Windows. Go ahead, download that. Wait for it to do the thing. There we go. Open it up. It'll come up with this. That's fine. What you do is you click more info, run anyway. Trust me, you can trust them. <laughs> All right. Now, once you're here, you make sure this is the correct location. This is the default location. This is probably where your Minecraft is. But if you know you put it somewhere else, go ahead and change the folder here. Make sure you pick the right Minecraft version. Of course, we're doing 114.4 right now uh, and always use the latest build. Go ahead and hit install and it's done. Now that we're done installing Fabric, before we install the mods we need, there's one more prerequisite to install before we can render videos using the replay mod, and that's FFMPEG. This is usually where a lot of peeps get hung up, and thankfully I have gained a lot of experience helping people out with this step since, since my last replay mod video. So let's just jump right on into it. All right, here we go. Go ahead and go to the website, ffmpeg.org, click this download button, hover over the Windows if you're doing Windows, otherwise you got your Linux builds and your Mac builds. But for this tutorial, we're doing Windows and then click this Windows builds. Don't click this, it'll bring you down to the GitHub and all this kind of stuff, you don't want that. You just want this link right here, boom. Windows builds, and then you get presented with this website. And this is nice and simple. If you're running 32-bit, click this. Most people nowadays are running 64-bit. You leave this on static, and then you go ahead and click download build. All right, now once that zip file has downloaded, go ahead and click it, and this will come up right here, this folder here. And where you're gonna wanna put that is in your C drive right here, local disk C, right there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag this right here to the C drive, right on the root. And then what we need to do is we need to rename this, just get rid of all this extra gunk at the end and leave it as FFMPEG. There we go, done. That is the first half of this setup. Now we need to tell Windows that it's there. I know it's a little bit weird, but what we're gonna need to do is we need to set up what's called the environment variables. Now, in order to do that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click this PC here and hit properties. This will bring up the system information. And then we're gonna click advanced system settings. And then we're gonna click environment variables. And then down here, we go to path. You find it here. Some people have a lot of stuff here. I, <laughs> some people don't, I have a ton of stuff there. But anyways, look for path and hit edit. And then in here, we're gonna add FFMPEG bin, which I have there right now. But the way you do this is you hit new and then you type C drive, which is the, the, the colon backslash FFMPEG backslash bin and then hit enter. And that gets added. I'm gonna go ahead and delete that one because I already have it in there. Gonna hit okay and hit okay all the way back and hit the X. And believe it or not, that's FFMPEG installed. That's the part that gives people a lot of trouble. Don't kick yourself in the butt if you can't make it work. Just uh, you know, just do a lot of research. You can ask in the comments. I will see if I can help you. Uh, there's some things that have to go on. One thing's for sure, a lot of people, this is the mistake they make. They leave Minecraft open while they're installing all this. And FFMPEG, the, the path that I just set there, doesn't get set until you restart Minecraft. So you're gonna have to get off Minecraft entirely and then get back on if you happen to have Minecraft open. First things first, you're gonna need to open up your launcher. You should automatically 
likely have fabric loader right on top of this. Uh, if not, you'll have to find it in your list here and then go ahead and hit play. We're gonna wanna open this up first before we can install our mods. All right, once that's loaded, go ahead and hit quick game. Now we can go to the four different mods that we need to download in order to get this running. And uh, what we're gonna do is first we need to get fabric API and then replay mod, then Optifine and Optifabric. I'm gonna go ahead and download all these right now. All right, and once you have them downloaded, what we'll do is we'll go to our mods folder in our .minecraft. Uh, if you don't know how to find that, look it up. It's in appdata.minecraft mods. And then we're just gonna drag these right on in. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, I can't see my fourth one and boom. So we have Fabric API, Optifabric, Optifine and Replay Mod. Optifabric makes it so that Optifine can run with Fabric just fine. If you just put Optifine in there without it, it won't work. So if you wanna do anything with shaders, you're gonna to need to have those two mods. And the Fabric API is just needed right out of the gate in order to have any mods running on Fabric. It's just the way it works. And of course we have the latest Replay Mod. And believe it or not, that's it. That's all you need to install the replay mod for 1.14 Minecraft. As you can see, when we open up Minecraft, we have replay viewer, replay center. That's how you know it's installed correctly. And you should be ready to go. You can go ahead and go into whatever world you want and start recording using the replay mod. If you don't know how to use the replay mod, I actually have several tutorials on the subject. Go ahead and click any of the links below about that. But anyway, if you found this tutorial helpful, go ahead and hit that like button. It really, really helps out the channel a ton. I know you hear that a lot, but it's true. But anyways, I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I will catch you guys in the next one. Toodles.